on this week's two minute tip what are we going to do with all these hot peppers i've got two plants here of our cayenne peppers and many of them are starting to turn red right now and that means they're nice and ripe and time to pick and today i want to show you one of my favorite things to do with these red cayenne peppers and that is to make dried hot red pepper flakes so we can take these little red peppers here and dry them and crush them up and it makes a great topping for pizza italian dishes fish or just about anything so let's pick these and then we'll go inside and show how we make those pepper flakes all right we got our peppers washed we're just going to cut these green stems off of them and throw them in a bowl before we start throwing them in the oven to dehydrate them now if you didn't like this quite as hot you could take the seeds out but i kind of like to leave the seeds in there now the key to dehydrating these well is low and slow heat we want to dry them out but we don't want to burn them if you've got a food dehydrator that works perfect but i don't so i'm just going to use my oven now you can use a regular baking pan but i like these elevated pans with the wire rack so it gives it nice air flow and kind of good uniformity as far as the drying process goes so i'm just going to lay these out here on this pan on both of these and then we're ready to throw in the oven and then i'm just going to put these guys in the oven on 170 because that's as low as my oven will go and this should take about eight hours or so so i like to do it right before i go to bed and then i can get them out in the morning all right, so our cayenne peppers are done drying after about eight to 10 hours in the oven there. They're nice and dry, nice and crispy. Got a nice color to them, nice kind of smoky smell to them. You can see they just kind of crumble up in our hands. So now I'm just gonna throw them in this food processor here, seeds and all, and get them nice and ground up. some good smelling stuff right there we'll go ahead and put the top on this mason jar put this in the spice cabinet and this stuff will store for a while although it might not make it that long as good as it is hope you enjoyed this week's two minute tip we'll see you next week